This is a Lenovo P53S. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive and memory. In order to accomplish this, we're going to need two simple tools. The first one is a precision Phillips head screwdriver. The second one is a plastic pry tool. Both of these tools can be found in an iFixit ProTec toolkit, which I will link down below. The first step is to remove all eight screws from the bottom case housing. The good thing about these screws is they do not come off of the actual case housing, so you don't need to worry about losing the screws. Once you have removed all eight screws, go ahead and grab your plastic pry. And I like to begin at the bottom right portion of the laptop, as you can see here. It is the best place to start. Go ahead and take your time doing this and you don't have to worry about being extra gentle. Sometimes these bottom case housings come off right away and sometimes it takes a while. You just have to be patient. One tip that I can give you is if the bottom case housing does not come off right away, go back with your Phillips head screwdriver and make sure all eight screws are loose. Sometimes you'll find that even though you lose them all the way, I found that sometimes the screws are not loose 100% even though they look so. The P53S comes with 8GB of RAM embedded into the motherboard and it also comes with a single expansion slot so you can put more memory as well as a slot for a single M.2 NVMe hard drive. We're going to be installing 16GB of generic Total Micro DDR4 2666MHz. You can also use 2400 MHz DDR4, they will both do the job. This memory offers a great value and as of this recording, the memory only costs $65. Next step is to go ahead and remove the single Phillips screw, which will let you remove the NVMe hard drive. In this case, you'll see that these uh, P53Ss are shipping with a Western Digital SN730, which is also known as a Western Digital Black. And we're going to be upgrading to a Sebrand Rocket Q, one terabyte NVMe drive. These drives offer a great value and as of the time of this recording, they're selling for less than $140, which is an excellent value. Make sure you properly align the hole for the NVMe drive. Go ahead and put in your single Phillips screw. At this point, you're basically done. Go ahead and put back your bottom case housing. I like to snap the case housing back in place before tightening the screws. Once you've done this, go ahead and tighten the eight screws. At this point, we are basically done. Go ahead and boot into your BIOS and make sure your system detects the new hard drive as well as the added memory. You should have a total of 24 gigabytes of RAM if you added a 16 gigabyte module. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like as well as subscribe for future videos.